but I'm just putting it in, and now we're going to play a massive 100k pot, most likely. Unless he makes some crazy 4-bet fold. I mean, like, I can see EDU Jake doing that. He is a massive, massive punter. But, I mean, I would say most of the time we're just getting an inverse fucking queens here or something stupid like that, you know? Let's go! Let's win a flip! Alright, same hand. Oh, do it! Come on! Hello, my friends. Whoa, we got a great spot here. He better not have ace jack offsuit and better just have eights. Oh my god, ace king. That's fucked up. It's alright, we've won though. So I've busted like literally every single turn I can play on 8 at 8 right now. Because I fucking suck. That's not true, I can hop in the swordfish, thank goodness. We got a nice stack in the big 109 and the hot 162. Patched up means business. Oh yeah, I put the patch on today. Right here. Here, here. I got a few from Vegas left over, so I was like, hey, why not wear a little patch today, you know? Hashtag sell out boys in the building. Now, if 8 or 8 could reward me with not busting all of the fucking tournaments, that'd be really good. That'd be really good, 8 8, 8. Please do this for me. I mean, we don't really want to have too many checkbacks here, but, like, this is a pretty good hand to do it with. He leads out half pot. He mashes the half pot button. We call him mate. That's not the greatest of rivers. It does bring the spade flush. If he bets 1100, I might want to find a fold, but probably not. Oh, we've got the best hand. We've shipped the biscuits. Send them over this way. You see a raise in like a crazy draw heavy board in a three way pot? When somebody raises like over 3x in this spot on like Jack 10, six, uh, two spades, um, I think that with all of my value hands, like unless I have like Ace Jack or something, but like even Ace Jack, I kind of want to just get in. But yeah, I think we want to just rip it in with like basically all of our hands that for value here because I just don't really think that he is ever doing this like super light. How could you, you know, three ways on this draw heavy of a board? Just a really bad spot to be check raised bluffing like very wide. My, my, my shit just way too long. Yeah, so he just has value as well. I would just expect him to always have a value hand or uh, a draw so we can just get it in pretty happily. Hmm. Didn't think he'd have queen three. Felt like one of many draws. I figured I only lose like 10 9 and like 4 3. How many trainings are you bringing today? I just want to bring one, you know? I've, this day has started so fucking rough that like it can only go up from here. Alright, big pot swordfish. We three bet the ace king. We're calling it off now. Hold. Good to win flips. I think we can take a pot, uh, take, a, take a turn. You can also just bet, try to build a pot, try to win it now. We look super strong, we bet into these people. Buys us a river card as well. I mean, I want to barrel like a ton, like any seven, jack, six, ace, even ten I might barrel. Obviously diamond I'm barreling. He's only got a pot size bet left anyways, and this eight is really bad. Any any pair or anything he called it in the flop that he, uh, like he's probably going to get in straight draws in the flop, so he probably only really has value hands and maybe like a king high plus draw or something. But I think I want to check for the vast majority of his range here. And obviously, we appeal it off on the river. I shouldn't really, we shouldn't really expect him to have too many hands that beat us. But I'm also trying to think of hands that want to call us. Maybe like a nine. I don't know. Maybe we just missed value and he had a flush. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to check all three deuce of diamonds there. Like that's kind of one that you want to give yourself a chance to win on the flop with like a re-raise or something, you know? I don't know, I just think it's a lot better to play that hand aggressively because it's not like you have ace high that can sometimes have showdown or like have an overcard that you can hit as well. He didn't have a straight draw, right? It was 984, I think. Yeah. I guess we missed some value. He would have called an all in. We'll be calling C Darwin here. It's 10 blinds, less than 10 blinds. We have a king and a queen. King! We got a shot for a bounty! Seven. I don't think I'm gonna win a bounty today. I lost four flips and a, and I got three outed in the 215 bounty builder earlier. Nice little turn lead spot for us. If you check back 874, it's just very rare that they have like an over pair or something. So we can just bet twice and just bet large. He snap calls. I think we just wanna shove actually here. That's what I would do with my value hands. He mostly has ace high and the board double pair makes him wanna call with ace high even more. So I guess we just 2x pot shove. 
I mean, maybe he sometimes checks back like ace eight or nines or tens or something, and he'll just call now, but I don't know. It's not very likely. He should be betting like all of his pairs on the flop. So he just like has like exclusively ace high here. Maybe he can have sixes and fives. That's very possible as well. And he might find a hero call with those, even though they're, you know, the same thing. Wow, we love this spot. We love this spot. We hate this spot. We hate this spot. Fuck, I'm tempted to call. Fuck! Nine! Mm. It's unlucky. I think we got very unlucky there. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's super unlucky. Like, this guy should be, like... Okay, so this guy, we can, we can like, run it. Like, what's a, what's a, what's a range fucking... What's an equity calculator thing? I need to be able to use these things more. I can put in the range and see what we have and see if we're getting the right price. I don't know. I'll figure out how to do it after. But, like, the main, the main logic behind that is this guy open shoving 23 big blinds, 23 and a half big blinds from middle position. Should have primarily... I mean, deuces, if he's shoving deuces, then our call is, like, almost certainly good. He should have, like, primarily, like, deuces through nines, maybe. So, like, we're doing fantastic with versus that range. And, like, maybe some ace-queen and ace-jack offsuit, which we're still doing fine versus, you know? So we're smashing the fuck out of his range. Yuri the Melther should know that as well. So he's probably going to be going with, uh, you know, something like sevens, sevens plus, ace-queen plus. And I feel like sevens plus versus ace queen plus with nines, we do pretty great. And like I said, we just smash Shutnik. And like they can just wake up with like ace jack, ace king, you know, like sevens, ace queen, and we're just doing great versus that. Honestly, I'm like pretty happy with that. I think it's like a good call. I think it's just unlucky that he had tens. I'm happy we put it in now. I'm pretty sure it's a call. All right, we're out of the tournament. Good game, guys, in the big 109 today. It's been fun. It's been fun, guys. Round of applause for our performance here uh, because we are no longer in the tournament. It's been good stuff. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time, but we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> He's got to do the reverse, the reverse, reverse, reverse. This sucks as well. Only person we didn't want to shove. Don't dominate. Okay, this is fine now. Hold. Easy. Easy! Oh, hold the baby. We shipped it in with 16 bigs under the gun and we've won a flip hell to the year. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I raised in the cutoff. We went three ways to the flop and now he's min betting. I'm looking for a queen or a ten of clubs. That's neither of those. That's actually quite bad. But, like, how does he have an ace? Maybe I should just pump it and shove the river. What's he doing? What are you doing, you silly Bill? What are you doing, you little silly Bill? This is what I mean. Every single hand has been a four bet so far. Maybe we should just sit back and relax. I mean, if he's got ace king or ace queen ever here, ace queen. If he's got ace king ever, sometimes he's just like bet calling it off with, and we gotta get it in, right? Because we got hella equity. We obviously don't get the right price versus aces or kings or queens. But if he does have a ace king, we gotta go with it. Fold. Fold! Man, oh man, oh man. If we get a fold here, then it's the best shot of our lives. <laughs> Woo! We don't even give a shit that it's a 1k buy, and you know, we don't give a fuck! All in, 10 high, ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Ripping the 10 bigs in the Carapodilio. And we're out. Got a suited ace king in the 600 Schmackaruski Patuski Volcano. When we stack off here, do we just cold four bet shove? Is it too much to cold four bet shove? <sighs> or are we four bet calling? I think we want a four bet call. But then we gotta put like a third of our chips in the middle, right? Yeah, I mean, let's just still do it though. Leave ourselves, like, room to, like, be bluffing every now and then so that he can pile it in with, like, ace-queen, ace-jack and give us a bluff type of thing, you know? I think with a pot-sized bet left, we don't really have a choice. We have to move it in. Into the middle. Queen? So, yeah, that's not great. Alright, we're flipping here. Hopefully we can win a pot on 8-8 eight eight today. I've got faith in it being possible. And it is. It is indeed possible. We've done it. 
2400. I don't think Tubo ever has a good hand, so I think I'm just going to click and isolate it here. I'm definitely getting a fantastic price um, versus just so many deaths. I'm only really scared of Mr. Andrew having a big hand, and like I think he 3-bets a lot of his hands with our dynamic, a lot of his big hands with our dynamic. I'm kind of scared of him having like 9s or 10s or something and just piling those in my eye and deciding to go with those. But I think he's going to find a fold more often than not, and I don't really think that Tubo can really have a good hand at all. Like, I don't really see how he can ever have a hand that he wants to get it in with. Unless he decides to go with, like, 8s or 7s. His range is, like, a little bit lower. Like, I don't really understand how he could ever go with, like, 8s or 7s here. But if he goes all in, we're going to have a really fucked up spot. We're going to have to do some 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 mathematics in our head. I think he's a lot more likely to go all in with, like, an ace-jack or ace-10-suited type of hand or something. He's got this thing going on. 7! Nope, never lucky. How about that, buddy old pal? Man, maybe he's got aces or some fucking bullshit here. I limped, bet flop, bet turn, shove river. Two pairs for value. I don't really think he's a kind of slow roll, so he's probably got like king, king three or something like that. He's thinking about calling off a king. Oh, he's got king deuce. He's considering calling. We said it. We said king three. It's basically the same thing. Ship the biscuits to papa. We're looking for a stack in the big 109 here. 46 left. It's getting to be a deep run here, folks. In the city, Zach with ducks. Hold it. Hold it. Maybe it's going to be an hour of power base. Big pop poker here. Flips there, the name of the game. Queen. Ace works as well. Da, 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 da. All right, we're all in. King six in the button. Seven blinds. Seven and a half blinds. It's going in. Folds. What he's not going to fold, it don't look like. Might go with the worst hand, like queen ten or queen jack, you know? Jack ten suited, something like that. I say a worse hand. We're, like, flipping with these hands. Oh, we're just kings. Six? One more six. Well... We tried. Ship it. All in. He's done it, folks. He's done it. Have we got any holds in the chamber? Oh! Woo! <laughs> Feels good, man. Yo, at Grog, my man with the 15 months. Can't believe it's uh, has almost been a year. Dude, 15 months is longer than a year. I don't know if you know how time works, but it's most certainly longer than a year. We call you mate. Oh my goodness, ace. I mean, king or queen, please? Oh god, just a king now. Or a jack. Or a chopperino. No. Queen, no good. It's fucked up, man. They're gonna have a flop. That's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're in a great situation here. Can we hold for the Michael Dublé? Never in the 326 max. Oh, you money. We in the cash money in the monsoon, baby. Let's go. One of 36. 2400 up top. I'm looking to win it. I'm looking to win it. We're going to keep our, our tournament winning streak alive here. Yeah, don't you be raising my big blind, bro. I'll three bet you with three high. I don't give a fuck. Lol. Getting the three bet on versus the homie. Idiot Drake is a massive blaster. If he four bet rips or four bet just, just to any size, I'm just fist pumping it in. Now, if he 4-bets and DJ Lee puts it in as well, then I'll be folding. But I'm just putting it in, and now we're going to play a massive 100k pot, most likely. Unless he makes some crazy 4-bet fold. I mean, like, I can see EDU Jake doing that. He is a massive, massive punter. But, I mean, I would say most of the time we're just getting an inverse fucking queens here or something stupid like that, you know? Let's go! Let's win a flip! Alright, same hand. Oh, do it! Come on! Punishing you, Drake. I hate that guy. He's done some fucking dumbass shit to me in the past and won some dumb pot. So this is nice. This is nice. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Just on the turn as well. Ain't no thing. That is thoroughly good stuff. And now we have a big old stacker, bud. Two of 181. 130 Justins. We like that, dude. We like that a lot. He doesn't final table this from here. It's a punt. What? I have five starting stacks, bro. That's like getting 25k chips in the big one and I and being like... If he doesn't final table this from here, it's a punt. Guys, things are happening. 
Hope he doesn't have deuces. I'm pretty scared he checks back an overpair on the river. Wow. Wow, we saved 60k. Holy shit. Jesus, thank you for not shoving, bro. Thank you for not shoving, my fucking god. That would have been bad. I would have snap called. I was just like praying that he shoves. Wow, what a cooler. I don't really love the spot, but nines are too good to fold for 25 big blinds cut off first button. Although I don't really expect him to be race folding a crazy high percentage of the time. Especially when he makes it that size. Aces. We have one out. We have no outs. We got reshoved on. 16 left now. We got just over 20 bigs. 23 blinds in the monsoon. It'd be nice to make a deep run of the challenge. This bad boy will take ages, but 4.6k up top. I've never final tabled this one. I'd really like to win it. That'd be good. We are slightly ahead. Can we hold the baby? We can indeed. We can indeed. Even race the flush front. Wild times. Wild times. Tomorrow comes. And we're all in with the ace jack of diamonds. And he's... Oh, no. Fuck. I must he's dead on the turn. Um, I don't know what we're going to do here. Should we just pile it in? This guy's 3-bet light before. I feel like we should just 4-bet. I don't know. Maybe this looks too strong, though. We should just probably just pile it in. It's like 47 blinds. Ooh, that's a lot to pile in, dude. Hope he doesn't have aces. Pretty typical. Pretty typical. It's really nice, though, for us. That was a really nice pot. Eights here in the super. I think I want to check it back because I'm really scared of him piling it in with that stack. That's a great, fantastic, wonderful turn. And now I'm very happy to bet. I don't know. Maybe maybe that logic is, like, really bad, actually. And maybe I'm just a big old silly bill. I don't know. I really want to value bet the river if it comes a good river because, yeah. All right. It's a stronger holding. This as well is a stronger holding. But we just had kings here and we lost. So I don't really know what's up and what's down anymore. Wow. Cooler. Uh-oh. We got him, boys. Let's get him here as well. Let's get him here as well. Big pop poker to start off the hour. Fuck off. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> My name is Parker. I am the unluckiest player. Hey, 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 we on the FT. At least we made the final, bro. At least we made the final. Let's get the final table felt out. Mm -hmm. Nine of nine, but that ain't no thing but a chicken wang. We're guaranteed 224 Schmackaruski Patuskis, 2400 up top. Let's get the camera, mother. We are going to take it down. You know, to discuss a deal. I'd like to discuss a deal, guys. I'm looking to deal. Oh, we waited for better spots and we got it, boys and girls. What? What's that? What's that? Why? Why did he call? Why did he call? Why did he call? Why did he call? <gasps> I don't know why I'm thinking. I'm not folding with 11 big blinds with Ace King. Even if a man flats off 13, oh, 12 and a half big blinds in middle position with center then raise. Oh my goodness, I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh, he was making a play. He was making a play, folks. The play didn't work. Ha <laughs> ha. Got his ass. Yeah, we got his ass hard. So there's two seats here and second and third place gets their money back, 200 euros, and top two gets 6k euros. So pretty important to get top two, I would say. Fuck, we're five off the money. Fuck. Dude, they've been bet folding in this spot all day long. Can we get it once more? No, he had the hand this time, but we need blue. Blue? Fuck. I'm a punter. Do we just keep it shove sixes for 30 bigs here, or do we just flat? I think we 4-bet shove if, if Remy 3-bets for sure. I think he's definitely going to be 3-betting light here a very reasonable amount of the time. So I think that we just definitely have, like, heaps of fold equity with sixes, and it's a good it's a good hand to have in our 4-bet range for, like, the bottom. Put your taunt punts away, folks. It's going to work. It's not a punt. Hell yeah. Auto-fold. Y'all see that on auto-fold? Y'all see that on auto-fold? I need to stop yelling. I'm really sorry. We're back and we're on the attack, bitches. 40 big blinds, just under 40 Justins. 
We're looking to get a Michael Dublé on the FT, though. We're looking to get a double up here. Mm -mm -mm. We're first of nine here. Like I said, two seats. Two, top two gets 6,000 euros, and second place gets 200. Fourth to ninth place get absolutely nothing. Hello? Hello? See, Darwin chipping it would be really nutted. We'd have so many chips if we won that. Listen up to me. Nine, five, nine. <laughs> Big pot poker here, boys. Hold the baby, please. Hundred sixty-four k. Let's go. Get the fucking camera. We got fifty bigs. Pretty good hand selection to check raise with. We have backdoor flush shot, gut shot, and an overcard. Doesn't look like he's interested in folding. I guess he's thinking about shoving or just flatting. Nice! Nice! If somebody else comes along, then we can flat here. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to get in 50k versus Natarian here. He raised calls ace-king and ace-queen in this spot, so we're definitely not getting in versus like exclusively like Jax plus or something when he does this. We're also all in on the FD. Ooh, that's bad. We have gotten seventh place in the FT for four hundred and thirteen dollars. So last two tables of the day are the Sadie and the Super Twos. Now he's thinking about getting it in, which means I guess he could have like eights or something, or maybe like Ace Jack or something weird. I don't know. This is a pretty good result for us. Pretty important flip here. Seems good. Seems good. We're chip with five left now. Six left. Two seats still. This guy's got 18. This guy's got 20. We're basically four-handed. I mean, definitely no reason we should be calling it off with Ace-8 here. Even if we do think that we're ahead of his range, it just doesn't make any sense when to risk 120k. We don't need to have over half the chips in play to win, you know? We just need to have one chip to get top two. Now, this, for example, King-6 open pushing blind versus blind is just a much better spot. Because, you know, putting the putting the decision on our opponents here is just going to be so much better than, like, calling it off with a weaker holding and, like, guaranteeing ourselves at best, like, a 60-40 type of situation. So this is unlucky. We're just going to hit a 4, though. Right? No. So that's, like, super unlucky, obviously, that he has aces. But still have 100k. We're still fighting for it. Yeah, we're going to have to call it off for C. Darwin here with the King 8. It's a much different spot when we have 100k compared to 200k here. And we're just like even more ahead of his range than the 15 big blind shove from the cutoff before. We do not need any more two pairs, please. Hoo, 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 let's go. All right, let's get there to be on the bubble. King seven diamond, please, dealer. Hold the baby. Let's go. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, ace three off, bro. Ten! Oh no, now I'm gonna bubble with queens. This is fucked. I'll probably just get walked now by this guy. Ace three! Oh man, oh man. Oh fuck my life, dude. Oh, thank God. Ace three though. I guess we shouldn't be shoving queen tensu in the button. Maybe snapping us off with ace three. Fuck, I don't even want to reshove on him if he raises. Ugh. Let's go! It's not done yet! It's not done yet! <laughs> Woo! We shipped another 6,000 euro package! Yeah! Feels good, man. Nice, dude! That's nice! That secures us a winning day! Another winning session! Five in a row, baby! So I already had a seat to Barcelona. I already had. I've already won one of those six thousand this week. So winning another one, you just get cash. And now we have a stack sixteen of sixty forty seven paid in the super twos. Not fucking bad, boys. Hmm. Interesting flat call. No sweat needed there, boys. We haven't had a playable hand in like ages. 
I was just thinking that, you know, like we've just been steady folding. Like not that, not that we had tough spots or anything, but like our last time was five is we lost chips with. I mean, yeah, we won that pot. Oh, we've done it. We have absolutely finally fucking done it. And you know who else has done it? Kook. Your boy Kook has fucking done it. Well done, my son. I'm really sorry, but it's my first Super Tuesday ever. Dude, what a lad. You're good, bro. That's awesome. We'll go for the steal here. We will not get it through. We'll most likely be going three ways now. We don't like that flop. We don't really have a lot of chips to bluff with. The Ten of Clubs is a pretty nice card to have. I am very tempted to put in one bet and be done with it. And I think I will. Just because Resco Radio is just flatting with a crazy wide range. And I feel like Bentox will be mostly weighted to like middling suited connectors. But it looks like he's not. It looks like he just has a King 10 or King Jack type of hand. Something something of the bigger nature. Like Ventox should have a lot of small pairs. A lot of, maybe not. Maybe he shoves those pretty. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we're all in. Unless someone else does something. This guy calls. We're still all in. Playing eight-handed. We would like to not shove under the gun, but this guy's 75 hands. He's reasonably aggressive. He's got a pretty reasonable opening stack. We're all in. We're all in. Hopefully we're not all out. Oh, it's not looking great. Ugh, come on, man. Eight on the river. No, I hit the post. Ripperino Cappuccino. We do cash for two, three, three, seven, nine, four. We will be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. This was a fun day. This was a profitable day. We shipped a 6k package. We final tabled the monsoon 7th place. We cashed the super twos. It was a great stream. We got lots of stuff going on. Seven and a half hours in. Thank you guys for hanging out. Whoever you've been here for the whole time. Make sure that you follow the channel. Ow, I can't do that with my shoulder. Make sure you follow the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll be streaming tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That is in four, 18 and a half hours. Thank you guys for hanging out today. It's been super fun. We had another profitable day. That's five profitable sessions in a row. Four since we've been home. Social shit here. YouTube, youtube.com slash Team Never Lucky. Go over there, sub, watch a video. Dad's back. I am back, dude. I'm very back. We're back and we're on the attack. We're cashing tournaments. We're winning sats. We're winning tournaments. We won the 160 Crocodile on 8 day poker yesterday. We are absolutely smashing the game at the moment, and it's only going to get better. We're going to have a chair giveaway soon. I know it. I know it. I know it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get off. I have been streaming for ages. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Peace out, homies. It's sellout time, boys. Check it out.